Hello there, it's Tilly from Tilly Plans. I'm here with a memory plan with me in my big happy planner. I'm just comparing it to an EC there to show you the size and finding the right page. So this week I'm going to be using a kit from Plannerface and it is called Travel. So I'm just going to show you the kit now. It's really beautiful colours. I love how the pink and blue go together. Like that sort of bluey colour is my favourite colour. So I'm quite excited. And there are my notes to remind me what I did. So let's get started. I am going to start on Monday. I'm going to pull out the right washi that I want and um, showing you which washies I've used. So that top two washies are from Paper Chase, the middle one's from The Works, next one is from I uh, Primark and the last one is from Ikea. I'm now just pulling out some date dots from What the Fox Designs. You can use WTF Tilly T I W L Y for 15% off at What the Fox Designs, and her paper is a beautiful premium mat, uh, blackout mat. Sorry, um, so you know it's quite nice because you can't see anything under it. And now I'm going to faff around trying to get these date dots straight, um, and it's going to drive me a little bit crazy um, because they just would not go on straight. They are such pretty date covers though, I'm really happy with them, so we'll now get those down. Just debating where to place them, but I went up for on where they are on the Big Happy Planner if you don't know. The reason um, the page was pre washied was because I actually did this before I went abroad. This is April and I filmed this in July. <laughs> so that's an idea of how behind my memory planning is. So I pre-stuck down the washi before I went away and took those washi cards away with me. So now we're going to put down the sort of idea of the the theme box, that's what it's called. And this is a quote box that says when in doubt travel. And just, just trying to just tip X out everything I want to tip X out. Um, so yeah, and then I think I move on to Monday next. I might even pull out some happy planner stickers first. Um, I'm not too sure what I do. I think I get started on Monday. I had an 8am meeting so I put down a box with a coffee on um, for that. So there we go, there's the happy planner stickers they appeared. Now I'm going to work on my weekend banner. So as I said this this washi here is from Paper Chase. I'm just creating some flags with it now. Whilst I'm creating that I'm just going to talk a little bit about my planning style. So I don't know what you've seen so far but this is my memory planner and I try and record every week um, in this. I have an Erin Condren for my weekly planning and sort of a big to-do list. Then I have a bullet journal which has daily to-do lists and any brainstorming and monthly tracking things in it. And then I in my bullet journal I also have I have that in the A5 Traveller's Notebook um, and in that Traveller's Notebook I have a few other inserts so I have one that I record what I've done every day for my memory planner I have one that I have my long-term collections in and I have um, another one which depends what it is so sometimes it is a project I'm working on at the moment or different things really at the minute it's actually another bullet journal because I for the month of July because I got really behind on everything whilst I was away um, so you just saw me there using a craft knife and a ruler and I'm just showing you my washi scrap page which is where I put all those scraps of washi now I'm just going to pop the weekend banner over the top of it and that is my weekend banner done so we'll get back on with Monday so I'm trying to decide what to do here and planning it out but eventually I don't know when I will put down a uh, appointment label there just wait there we go forgot the appointment label at last and we're just popping that down and that's to mark meeting everybody at that meeting at 8 a.m. because this was the first day of my holiday and um, I was working I say holiday it was actually my elective I was in Malta at this point and so I met everybody else that was doing their elective there too so then I'm going to put down this ombre heart checklist it will in a minute to um, write some notes about like some more memory keeping -y bits journaling type bits about what happened and I'm putting no I'm not putting a flag down I'm putting a quarter box down 
to say that I went into sort of the capital city after work and then I will use a half box at the bottom because I went to some fireworks in the evening so that is that one and then I'm just debating what to do next I don't know why I haven't stuck that all the way down I probably will in a minute I'm still debating what to do I have a few more stickers that I'm going to put down so there we go we brought that flag back and that is just going to um, talk about what I did in Valletta and there we go I eventually stuck that back down I will also now grab a washi strip I will use that pink one in the end and that's just to mark going to my the department I was in any afterwards so then we move on a little bit and there is everything written in and we're going to move on to Tuesday so Tuesday was a bank holiday in Malta so I'm putting those little things down to say that um, and then I'm going to put a heart checklist down for some journaling then underneath that I'm going to pull out a half box and that is from planning with Miss Eve it's actually from an oops sheet but I don't know what's wrong meant to be wrong with it um, and I will mark that for where I went to the day which was Gozo which is one of the other islands now I'm going to cut down this happy big happy planner sticker which I believe is from the memory keeping big book um, and I'm going to put that just under the half box to put some journaling in then in that last box I will eventually put in a full box and I'm just talking about what all these things are going to represent but I've told you that already um, I sort of film these things as talk throughs and then just to remind myself when I'm recording of what I'm going to do so yeah um, and now I'm just talking about what stickers I'm going to put down so I'm going to pull out a one from the kit for the gozo trip and I'm going to pull out one from a shop called Choco and Mimi for the bank holiday that's what I've not said so far and I'm about to fill in all the text so we'll switch to text fold in so now we're going to jump through to Wednesday I actually start setting up Wednesday and then realize that I'm actually planning for Thursday so that half quarter box there from planner face as well is to mark my grandpa's birthday and then I'm going to start putting some things down but then I will realize it is not right at all um, in a little while whilst I am doing that I'm just going to talk about the stickers I placed on Monday so that top panda is from Choco and Mimi the little girl with the heart is from planning with Miss Eve the icon next to Amy is from planner face the little panda is also from Choco and Mimi the unicorn throwing things in the air is from Little Thought Store and I'm not sure where that um, one with next to the fireworks is from I will find out and pop it on the screen now so here's where I realised that I've planned the I've uh, memory planned to Thursday on Wednesday so we're just going to turn over and put those things down so we have an appointment label and a washi strip to mark going to um, A&E in the morning and then we've got a ombre heart checklist for my writing there so back to Thursday I'm going to put the right things down so I'm going to put um, that flag from the kit and an icon with it from the kit as well to say about going to work then I'm going to have a little bit of a think and then I'm going to decide to journal there and put in a think something to mark going for sort of a lunch dinnery thing with some friends I debated using this half box for a while and then I decided to pull out this big happy planner sticker from the memory keeping book again um, and to mark that lunch down and I'm going to use a quarter box from the kit to mark going food shopping and then I'm going to use some of the bottom washi from the kit um, in a few minutes yep there we go the bottom washi from the kit to mark some journaling and to fill in that space a little bit because I didn't want to use all the four boxes because I use a kit over two weeks um, so general day to day I use a kit over two weeks one in my usual planner and one in my memory planner and we're going to jump to it all written in I believe so now I'm just showing you what I put down I put down that unicorn from Little Thought's store. Um, the girl is from 
standing with Miss Eve and the passport symbol is from the kit. The Let's Do Dinner sticker is from that same shop that I currently can't remember the name of and I will put again here. So now I'm trying to plan for uh, memory plan Thursday. I debated a few things here. I was going to use this bit of washi that I messed up my writing on and then I realised the symbol that I used was not big enough. So I'm going to take that up again and then I'm going to put a full box there instead. Um, I'm still going to use that planner from K Elizabeth Plans um, but I'm just going to put layer it over the washi instead. Um, the washi that's already on the page. So then I'm going to put this full box in from the kit instead and again I'm going to debate where to put it for a while and then we're going to move that washi strip up a little bit um, to make sure I'm happy with it. So then I'm going to put this sticker, work sticker from Harriet Wright Designs down and I'm going to fill in my text. So moving on swiftly to Friday we're going to have a look at some stickers for a while and then we're eventually going to pull out two little things to write about work on. Um, just to let you know, I can't remember where that cloud is that I've put down is from. Um, it's a blank sheet so I can't even check. So and I'm just putting a half box down to say where I went for the day. And then I am going to cut up this Breast Friend Forever bucket list sticker um, and use that for some journaling in this section. So I'm just going to stick that in the middle box and then at the bottom of the page I'm going to put the to go box that came with the kit and a flag to say about a sale that was going on. It was the Love UK Planner Shops sale and I bought lots of things from Planner Face who made this kit so <laughs> kind of topical really. There we go, there's me putting the to go box down. So we are then going to, in a second, jump to this all filled out. Whoops, that wasn't quite right. It was actually to the stickers. So I'm now putting down some stickers. So that top sticker is from Little Thoughts Store. The next one is from Once More With Love. That globe is from the kit. And that Bye Bye Money stickers is from what was called Beautiful Planning, but is now called Blossom Nose Co. Then that um, had a shit day sticker is from Plump Planner. So we are all filled in and moving on to Saturday. So we've got that weekend banner already done. I'm going to put a skinny appointment label to say that I had a lion. And then we're going to put a two little things down to mark the town I went to that day. So I'm just covering up the little things bits. Uh, so then we're going to put down a quarter box to say one of the things that was going on and now I'm going to cut up this um, calories don't count when you're having lunch with a friend for a sort of representation because we went out for this beautiful meal like beautiful pizza and then really good cake afterwards it was excellent then I'm going to put down this big double box from the happy planner also and then we are going to put a debate what we put down but eventually it's going to be a flag and a quarter box to say about the meal and the cathedral that I went to before we went out for a meal. And then I think we move straight on to Sunday and we will use that washi strip that I made a mistake on earlier and um, put a half back box over it um, to cover up my error writing and then we're going to use a full box to fill in that space and then put down some little things um, for a meal that I went out to again. There was a lot of eating out this week as you may have been able to tell but you know what I was on holiday so whatever. And I will fill it all in and start putting some stickers down I think. Um, and I'm just putting those little things down now, and sorry about my hair to keep coming into frame, the Big Happy Planner is so big it's so hard to tell what you're doing. So I'm just debating what stickers to use, then I pulled them out. So that one there is from uh, Trigo and Mimi, that one is also from Trigo and Mimi, that one is from the kit, and then that one is Once More With Love, that's from the kit, and then I decided it didn't look right, so I was pulling some of the deco from the kit to make it sort of fill in the space a bit better, because obviously I'm using a EC kit in a big happy planner 
that one there is from Little Thoughts Store and as is that one. So that is that all filled out and we're just going to turn over and start on the sidebar. So I'm going to have a bit of a debate about what I do and eventually I will pull out a washi strip and a header um, saying this week I will, yeah there we go, finally get in there. There's the washi strip and putting the this week header over it and putting down two ombre heart check boxes. I'm actually going to pull that up in a second and then put a, the darker one first because I will realise they will actually ombre together really well. Um, and they do, it's sort of almost, other than like the sticker difference, they are pretty, it's a pretty seamless colour change as you'll see on camera. And then underneath that I'm going to put a full box to put the best thing about the week in and under that I'm just going to use the some of the bottom washi um, to fill in the space and eventually, I don't think I do it on camera, but I will put in a um, plan face sticker to say that was where the kit's from. So that is everything all filled out. I'm just flicking through the kit now to show you what's left. There's loads left and I am about to show you where I'm going to use the other half of this kit and there we go and that's all ready again. So we'll flip back and then I'm going to show you quickly my monthly that is not at all filled out and just pointing bits out on here. There's my monthly and we're back here. So thank you so much for watching. Like, comment down below if you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!